In this session, I will explain about flame photometry. Flame photometry is a type of thermometric sensor. Thermometric sensor means the measurement of thermal changes like temperature changes or flame emission during the interaction between the analyte and the receptor. These thermal changes are converted into measurable electrical signals. Now let us discuss in detail about flame photometry. Whenever the compound of group 2 metals or alkali and alkaline earth metals are aspirated into the flame, then these compounds will dissociate into atoms. During this process, the following changes take place. The solution of Mx when aspirated to the flame, first the solvent gets evaporated leaving behind the salt in the frame. The salt then gets vaporized into gaseous state, which is dissociated into atoms M and X in the gaseous state. Further, adsorption of heat from the flame, the metal M gets excited to higher energy level. However, the metal is unstable at excited level and hence fall back to their ground level by emitting energy in the form of light radiation. The intensity of the emitted light radiation is proportional to the number of atoms in the excited state or the concentration of the solution fed to the flame. But the emitted radiation of different metals are not same that are different for different metals. For example, sodium emits radiation at 589 nanometer and the potassium at 766 nanometer. The intensity of the emitted radiation is measured in terms of E, which is the detector response and uh, which is given by the expression E is equal to 2 K into alpha into C where K is the constant, alpha is the efficiency of atomic excitation and C is the concentration of the solution. Now let us see the instrumentation and working of flame photometer. The analyte sample is injected to the flame photometer through the nebulizer. Air is applied to the nebulizer in order to suck the sample. Fuel like LPG is passed to the mixing chamber where fuel and sample will be mixed together. After litting the flame, whatever changes I have mentioned earlier, that one will take place at the flame. That is evaporation of solvent, uh, vaporization of salt, dissociation into atoms, uh, excitation of metal atoms and flame emission takes place. Hence, this flame emits different radiation based on the metal present in the sample. These radiations are passed through the lens where these are focused into the split of the filter. The filter allows a particular wavelength of radiation. For example, if we are interested to measure sodium, then wavelength will be set at the filter is 589 nanometer. Then the emitted radiation received by the photo detector. That converts it into electrical signal. And which is amplified at amplifier and displayed in the display. This is the instrumentation and the working of flame photometry. Here, the source of flame is the burner in the flame photometer. The role of nebulizer is to send homogeneous solution into the flame at a balanced rate. The optical system consists of convex mirror and convex lens, which is helped to focus the emitted light into slit of the filter. The filter isolates the wavelength to be measured from the emitted radiations. 
and the photo detector converts the emitted radiation into electrical signal which is directly proportional to intensity of the light next let us see some of the applications of flame photometry it is applied for both the qualitative and quantitative analysis this flame photometry is applicable for the analysis of different material present in biological fluids and plant materials these are also used for the determination of sodium potassium uh, calcium ions present in the water samples and soil extracts these are also used for the determination of calcium ions present in cement glasses etc these are some of the applications of flame photometry